Hey guys, it's Pamela, aka Scooter Renee. I am bringing you some Buy It Now videos. If you do not know who I am, again, I am Scooter Renee. I do Monday motivations on Monday and auctions Tuesday, Wednesdays, and Thursday nights. I am taking a break due to surgery, and so I have decided to drop some Buy It Now videos while I am out. If you have never been to a Buy It Now video, it's very simple. All you do is comment below the video and put what item number you would like to purchase. I will invoice you and you will through PayPal and then you will just pay through that way. Once you have paid, I will ship the items. While I am out for my surgery, however, I will invoice as soon as I am able to and then I will ship as, as I'm able to do that as well. So let's get started. Let me show you some items. All right, guys, hopefully y'all can understand me, but this is the 10 box number one of this buy now video. This one right here, I've got the lid open, so it makes it easier for me to show it to you. But you have the flowers there on top and then on the side as well, all the way around. It does have a hinge look to it. And then on the bottom, it does say made in England. So there you go. And then here's the inside right there. And so this is the tin number one. And we will do this one for $3. Item number two is a beautiful uh, square tall container. It has the yellow daisies on it. Super cute. There you go. Maybe some sunflowers as well. I'm assuming those are called daisies. There is the lid. And then right here, it looks like this actually came from a candle light company. So there you go. But the candle is no longer in there. And this says 1982. So never heard of that before. Um, but there's the lid. There's the inside. It's really pretty clean for it to have been a candle in it. Um, but this one right here is item number two. And we will do this one for $3. Item number three is a beautiful oriental tin box. It's got the cobalt blue color and the gold tone. There's the design on top. And then on the sides, super pretty. I think this one actually had tea in it, loose tea. Um, looks like it was made in England as well. So there you go, made in England. And so this is item number three. Here's the, oops, the inside of it. It is hinged. Uh, but item number three, this one we will do for $5. Item number four is just like item number three, except this one is taller instead of short. Um, and so this one is a little bit bigger than the other and it's square. So there you go. There is the top. There is the side. There you go. So different designs everywhere. Again, made in England. And this one, I left that sticker on because I can't really get it off there, but it does say Jasmine Tea. And so there you go. And then on the inside here, again, a hinge lid. And so again, this one is a little bit bigger than item number three. So this one's going to be $8. Item number five is a beautiful tin. It's nice and tall as well. Uh, probably about seven inches tall. It's got the gold tone, beautiful flowers and everything. Kind of an octagon, I think. Or, yeah, octagon uh, shape of the tin. So it's just absolutely stunning. I love this one. So there you go. And then on the bottom it does also say that it was um, designed by Kama. So there's that. And then Oops, sorry guys, I'm gonna hit the camera. And then here you go, nice and clean on the inside as well. So this one is item number five. And this one will be for $10. 
Item number six is a very vintage uh, tin can. It's an old candy tin, uh, but it's real pretty. It's got the blue and white metal. And if you read right here, it says number one, or net one pound, contains mild bittersweet chocolate, so forth and so on. So that's why I think this might have been some sort of chocolate or candies. Uh, but you can tell that there is somewhere on here as well, but it's just super cool looking. Definitely a conversation piece, I think. Especially those of you that love to decorate and everything. Um, on the bottom, it does have gross or gross day. I'm not sure how you pronounce that. Uh, but if we open it up, it is lidded as oval shape. So there you go. There's the inside. Here's the other side. Again, this is super, I think, super cool piece for anybody. Uh, but this is item number six, and this one we will actually do for $12. All right, guys, this is item number seven. It is Pure Quaker Oats um, Company. It is the yellow tin. Here is the top of the lid right here. Use only Quaker Oats. And then underneath, there's your cooking instructions and everything. There's the inside of the can. And then here is the outside of it. And then it's got the chocolate chip uh, recipe, oatmeal recipe there, and then day bars. And then this right here is dated 1992. And so this one right here, item number seven, we will do this one for $12. I'm sorry. Item number seven will actually be $15. $15 for item number seven. Item number eight is another Quaker Oat. Uh, this one's got quick Quaker Oats on there. This one is navy blue and kind of a brick red color. Here's the top of the lid right there. And then again, you got your cooking instructions on the inside. Nice and clean on the inside as well. So here's the outside of this. Um, again, it's got two styles of Quaker Oats, uh, Quaker Sunshine Oat Chewies, and Double Chocolate Treasures. Uh, so there's just some recipes to go along with that. This one is also dated uh, 1990. So 1990 on this one. Item number eight. This one right here will be $15. All right, guys, item number eight, uh, nine is a Oriental can. This one actually says Melrose's Tea. So there you go. There's the outside. Here's the top of the lid. It does have, um, you know, some wear from the ears and stuff. There's that side. Here's there. And then this one on the bottom, just like that. And then on the inside, it is nice on the inside. Again, except for the wear, it is a hand uh, lid. But this is item number nine, and we will do this one for $6. Item number 10 is a another vintage tin for you. It's got Washburn Crosby Company, Merchant Miller's. Minneapolis, Minnesota. So there you go on that part. And then your lid right here, it does have the Washburn Crosby Go Metal Flower. So this was a flower tin. Here is the inside of the lid. And then the inside of the tin right there. And then here's the outside decorations. There you go. Same on the other sides. And nothing on the bottom. And so this will be item number 10. And this one will be $15. Item number 11, another Oriental 10. Y'all can tell what I gravitate to mostly. Um, but I just love the designs of these. They're just so pretty. Lots of detailing in them. So here's the top of the lid right there. 
And then you got the side with the birds. And then continues all the way to the box. There's no mark on the bottom. Here's the inside, nice and clean. And here's this part. Again, no mark on the bottom. So this one right here, item number 11. Remember, I lost my 11 card. Item number 11. This one will be $10. Item number 12 is a beautiful vintage tin can. A very Victorian style look to it. You got the gold and the red. You got the lady there holding the fruitcake. And so you guessed it. This is a fruitcake uh, tin can. Let's see if I left it to where I can open it for you guys. Okay, let me show the other side real quick. This is Hostess fruitcake. Does not have a date on here as how old the can is. There you go. I'm sorry guys, let me get this for you. So there's the lid, nice and clean on the lid. And then here's the inside. And this one right here, sorry for the noise. This one right here, item number 12. We will do this one for $15. All right, guys, this is item number 13. It's a big tin box. Love this one. The vintage of it, the um, Victorian style of it as well. Item number 13, you got this Victorian picture on top. I'm going to take the lid off. It does talk about that that picture is the charms of country living. Um, and this date is 1703, 1770, and this is Sunshine Biscuits. So there's that part. Underneath the pan right here, you could take this other lid off if you wanted to. Um, it's kind of stuck on the other side, so I didn't want to damage it. Um, but if you want this one, you can uh, try it out. Uh, this one is the Nest, again, 1703 to 77, 1770. Sunshine Biscuits, and on this side, we have a Victorian style uh, picture here, so there you go. And so, this one is about 13 inches across from the widest, so there you go. And so, this one again is a little bit bigger than the other, so this is item number 13. It will be $20. Item number 14 is a Coca-Cola tin. Uh, the tin itself almost looks like it's wood, as you can see right there. But it has a Coca-Cola store right there. Beautiful. Love this one. It's even signed right here, Jim Harrison. And so the bottom is a solid kind of a gold color. But on the underneath here is dated 1997. So that's uh, when this came out. And then the inside is nice and clean, as you can see. Uh, this tin, number 14. Sorry for all the noise. Number 14, we will do this one for $12. And then item number 15, I love this one. It's probably one of my favorites. Um, there's the picture on top again, Victoria style. So I either go for Victorian or Oriental. And then there's the side design. We take the lid off nice and clean on the inside. It is a lidded tin. And then here we go. The same detailing continues on all the sides. No mark on the bottom that I can see. So there you go. This is item number 15. Um, we will do this one for $14. And guys, I just want to take a moment to thank you so much for your support of these Buy Now videos. Especially while I've been out with my surgery. So, I appreciate everything that y'all do for me. Um, I will be posting some of the repeat videos again 
because some of the items have not been claimed. And so stay tuned for that. Um, but again, I will talk to you guys. Thank you for your support. Guys, again, thank you so much for watching this Bite Now video. Again, if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to reach out to me. It might take me a little bit, but I will get back to you. Also, again, all you need to do is comment below what item or item numbers you would like. Also, don't forget, if you are a brand new buyer for me, you will need to send me an email at scooterrenee.com. LLC at gmail.com. That information is down below in the description. I will need your name, your PayPal email address, your YouTube name, and any other information that you would like to share with me. So thank you again. Stay tuned for some more Bite Now videos and have a good one, guys.